Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Oceana cruise experts. And today, I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful, brand new Oceana Vista. This incredible vessel is a decade in the making. Oceana has listened to their customers, all the things that they loved about their previous ships. They put that together here with the Vista and added so much more. I've absolutely loved my time on board. I know you will as well. We've always loved Oceana and they really have truly taken it to another level. Now I'm gonna to tour every public space here on board today. And keep in mind, we do have all the rooms and suites on our channel as well. But most importantly, when you're ready to book this incredible vessel or any room or suite with Oceana, Regent, or Norwegian Cruise Lines, make sure you reach out to the experts at Har Travel. We know the space is inside and out. We have an incredible relationship with Oceana. We've cruised them extensively, and we know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now, when we step up right above the pool deck where we are now, you get a great view of the pool down below. It's big enough to do laps, generally in the morning or in the evening. It's also just a wonderful place to cool off. Today, we're in Rome. You can imagine heading back from an incredible tour in the city, having a nice dip, or maybe utilizing the two beautiful hot tubs. Now you'll see that they've expanded the area where you have that shallow entry. You can sit all the way on the edges around, tuck your toes in the water, have a nice cool off. They've also added day beds that are in the water itself. You see the beautiful sculptures that are wrapped all the way around and quite a few of the sun loungers. I've never had an issue finding space here on board and that's gonna be one of the signatures of this beautiful vessel. There's plenty of space, there's plenty to do, incredible food and incredible service. Now you've got loungers that face the pool. If you're looking for a little bit of shade, you've got some tucked away underneath on the sides as well. And then you're also gonna have small cabana style seating areas that are looking out at the beautiful ocean views. When you step up one deck to where you are now, you're gonna see that you have all the sun loungers wrapped all the way around on both sides. They actually tuck a little bit further back and you're gonna have some wonderful day bed options in addition. Now keep in mind, every great pool needs a phenomenal pool deck bar. You're gonna see the pool bar on the far side there, that's the waves bar. But like every part of the ship, you have beautiful spaces, but it's the crew that makes it come alive. They're gonna keep you smiling, laughing, they're gonna keep those drinks flowing, and you're gonna have a wonderful time with them and all of the different service options around the ship. In addition, right below me, you're also gonna find the bandstand. One of my favorite things is as we sail away, they crank up the band, they're gonna play that music, and you know that you're on vacation. There's also a large LCD screen just behind it, so you can watch some of your favorite movies, games, and of course, it supplements the entertainment on the deck. You've got all the lights built in, you've got all the speakers. This turns into a phenomenal entertainment zone as you cruise around the world and party the night away. Nestled on the side, tucked above the pool deck on deck 15, you're gonna find several seating areas here where you can get those sun loungers. There's gonna be six on this side, six on the other. I find that these oftentimes aren't found. It's a great place to tuck away. Now, all the way forward on the top of the ship, you're gonna find some fun outdoor sports. You've got two sets of cornhole here. You can play with your friends. It's a great place to make new friends as well and gather with the friends and family. You're also gonna have a couple different golf options. Now keep in mind that Oceana does visit some of the best golf courses in the entire world, whether you're in the British Isles, cruising through Europe or around the United States, wherever it is that you are, if you love to play golf, there's sure to be a great excursion option for you. Now, if you're gonna head out on an excursion, you may wanna practice first. Let's see if I've got anything left in the tank. Yeah, low and slow, generally the way it goes. Now, I really appreciate not just the size of the putting green area, but you're also gonna have quite a bit of diversity. A lot of times it's just flat, so you can actually test out and practice your golf here on board. Remember, drive for show, we already did that. Now it's time to putt for some dough. Got one over in the corner. Hmm. And a little bounce there. Who knew? Now, as we continue to head forward, this is gonna wrap all the way around the front. I love the aesthetic of it. Once again, also the functionality, and it's also some beautiful views from up here. You've got views out the side, out the front as well. In fact, you're overlooking the Aquamar Spa Terrace. Let's see, play a little bit more here. Yeah, didn't quite get it up over the hill. Eh, a lot of chicken left on that boat. 
Not too bad. Now on the port side of the ship, they're gonna have a full sport court area. You can play paddle tennis and pickleball. It's a great way to get a little bit of exercise and have some fun with new friends. Now at the aft of the ship, you're gonna find several sports areas, and it's also where you'll find the walking and jogging track. Now I love the little touches that they've added on board. They've got a Vera water station up here. You can refill your water bottles. If you're up here jogging or exercising, that's a really nice touch. Now just behind me, you'll find shuffleboard. To me, there's no more quintessential cruise ship experience than shuffleboard. You can gather with friends, of course, have a wonderful style tournament. Now for me, I tend to eat just a little bit here on board. The finest cuisine at sea is way more than just a tagline. It's really what Oceana is all about. Delicious ingredients, amazing restaurants. Of course, we're gonna show you all of them in just a bit. But what I always tend to do is come on up here before or after dinner, walk it off, maybe even in the morning as well, so that I can enjoy and dig in a little bit more. Now for me personally, my favorite spot on any cruise ship is the aft of the ship. That's something I really appreciate about this walking track is from here you can get those incredible views at the wake in the distance. Right down below me, you can actually see a brand new structure. What that is, is it's over top of the terrace cafe. So if you wanna have a delicious meal, you can have it out there. I really love that they've added that on. But my favorite spot, as I mentioned, is the aft of the ship. And this ship has some incredible suites in the aft. Whether it's the wraparound penthouse, the owner's suites, or the Oceana suites, I love to be here whether it's walking or jogging or heading down and enjoying the suite. Another fun outdoor sport with friends is croquet and bocce ball. They've got both of those set up here. You can gather, especially on a sea day, enjoy and take advantage of these beautiful vistas. All the way in the aft of the ship, you're gonna find the Terrace Cafe. Now this is the casual buffet style eatery here on board with elevated cuisine and elevated decor. Now you'll have seating on both sides. You've got beautiful seating with the floor to ceiling windows and it wraps all the way around. Though my favorite spot is the terrace itself where it gets its name. I'll take you out there in just a minute. Now this is the buffet style option for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. They're gonna have a variety of made to order options in addition to grab and go options for you. Now you see you've got a hot line that goes all the way across here. This is where you're gonna find things that are ready made that are hot entrees. And then the very back, you actually have the grill. Now I mentioned the elevated cuisine. You can have steak and lobster each and every single night. They're gonna make all those options made to order. Think pasta's made to order and things along those lines. In the middle, you're gonna find the fruits, charcuterie. They'll have different styles of salads that they can make to order for you. In addition to pre-made salads as well. Now my favorite spot is right in the middle. That's where you're gonna find all the delicious ice cream, sorbet and gelatos. They'll mix those up. They also have some incredible dessert options every single day as well. So of course it's gonna be different for breakfast, lunch and dinner. If you don't want that seated course by course menu, you just wanna come up and have a really nice ultra casual meal, make sure you stop by the Terrace Cafe. But my recommendation is grab your food, head on out to the Terrace. Let me show you that now. Now we're outside on the beautiful aft Terrace. Now one unique feature of this ship is of course the shade structure up above. I really appreciate that they've put that in here. You've got ample seating out here as well. So you've got tables for two, tables for poor. You also have larger tables in the middle and booth style seating tucked just behind. Now for me, there's something mesmerizing about the weight kicking up in the distance. It's where I always love to be. Now, of course, they're gonna provide service out here as well. You always have the complimentary water, sodas, specialty coffees, and teas. Now, keep in mind with the O-Life promotions, you may wanna add on one of the beverage packages or pick the excursions. Your hard travel advisor can help you pick the perfect combination for you so you can be sitting right here, enjoying an incredible sea day and looking out at the beautiful views. Just forward to the Terrace Cafe, you'll find the Waves Grill. Now this is that classic pool grill option, once again, elevated. You can have a delicious Wagyu burger. You can have that surf and turf burger with, of course, delicious lobster on there. They've got a lot of options, including paninis, different styles of sandwiches, and they also have a salad bar set up. They'll have that grilling fresh for you. All you gotta do is go up, let them know what you're looking for, head on out here, grab a seat, relax, watch the ocean views, and the food will come to you. Now to complement the grill, they also have a delicious selection of antipasti and pizza. You can have that delicious caprese salad. I absolutely love the burrata and balsamico. Well, you can't go wrong with burrata no matter what you do. And of course you could put that on a pizza as well. So they've got quite a few different options. You see the multiple pizza ovens behind me. You can get your signature wings or that barbecue beef flatbread. Lots of delicious options, wide variety, which is what Oceana is known for. 
Aquamar Kitchen is a brand new concept for Oceana, and I'd say it's a home run, but it really is a grand slam. It's an absolutely delicious menu. Of course, they expect that from Oceana, but it's highly extensive, and it's here for breakfast and lunch. You're gonna find elevated spa cuisine and just absolutely delicious options. They have a variety of different bowls, whether you want a poke bowl, they've got avocado toast selections, they've got all kinds of different choices to choose from for breakfast and lunch. You're gonna find some delicious healthy options, and of course, I can always find a way to add on to those as well, if you know what I mean. So behind me, you're gonna find the juice bar as well. They've always had a juice bar, but they've brought it inside here. I love the way that they've utilized this space. Right down the middle, they're also gonna have a large table. They can also use this for different styles of tastings and classes. And then there's seating that's outdoors as well. It's inside, but it's just outdoor this space. They're gonna open up the large windows for breakfast and lunch. And you can really come in and grab and go and made to order options to choose from as well. They've got several cooking stations, of course, some of the best chefs in the entire world. If you're looking for a delicious option for breakfast or lunch, make sure you check out the Aquamar Kitchen. I wouldn't be surprised to see this expand. It is phenomenal. Now, I just stepped outside to the dining area. You'll see tables for two and four out here, large booth style seating as well. I love that you can sit here, take advantage of those incredible ocean views. They've got the windows that they'll open up and it actually is open on the far side, but it's covered. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can take advantage of the heaters up above. You can sit back, relax, enjoy a delicious breakfast or lunch option. And of course, check out those incredible views wherever in the world you're traveling. Now we're inside the Polo Grill. Now this is one of the delicious specialty restaurant options here on board. With Oceana, the specialties are included and you're gonna get priority based on the room or suite category that you booked. Now it is an absolutely delicious steakhouse. And one of the things that you'll find about the finest cuisine at sea and the Oceana concept is they have a very extensive and high quality menu. All the beef is gonna be prime. For me, it's always about that incredible ribeye. It's juicy and delicious, but they have a wide variety of the classic appetizers. You start off with that colossal shrimp cocktail, work your way through the Caesar salad and all the way up through the incredible menu. Now they've got some seafood options. Of course, the classic is that surf and turf with the delicious lobster and the filet mignon. Of course, you gotta get into that dessert menu as well. And my only complaint about the Polo Grill is the menu's so large, you've gotta come back, seems like a few dozen times to try everything. Now you're gonna have seating all along the window, generally tables for two. It actually wraps all the way around the aft of the ship as well, so you can get some incredible views out the aft as you dine. As you enter at the front, you're gonna have more tables for four, six, and larger tables as well. And they've added a private restaurant here. Make sure that you check with your butler or your hard travel advisor if you wanna pick that out, maybe for a special celebration like a birthday. Once again, a delicious classic steakhouse menu, elevated and expanded. Now we're inside Toscana, which is a classic Italian restaurant. You're gonna find elevated cuisine and stunning decor. You've got the beautiful Versace tableware, all designed specifically for Oceana Cruises, and you're gonna find delicious dishes designed and made by the very chefs who cook it's grandmas and mothers. In Italy, of course, that's where the best recipes come from. They're going to take them and elevate them to another level, and they even have some amazing signature dishes from the godmother of this beautiful ship, Giada de Laurentiis. She's sailing with us now. I've always enjoyed her cuisine. In fact, I've dined at quite a few of her restaurants, but for me, Italian is is everybody's favorite. You have a wide variety of appetizers. You move through the pastas, the primi, secondi. You're gonna find delicious dishes from the land and the sea. You can't really go wrong here and you're gonna to wanna to come back time and time again. Just like the Polo Grill, you've got tables for two all along the windows. You also wrap all the way around the aft. That's always where I request that table in the back. You've got more tables for two and four and you can see the absolute beautiful decor in here. If you love a good Italian meal, you're gonna be blown away with how exceptional this menu is and of course the execution of it. Tucked just inside Toscana, you'll find the private dining room. Similar to what they have in Polo Grill, you can have an elegant wine paired meal right here with a small party. You'll be able to choose from multiple sets of wine flights. Of course, the sommelier will work with the chefs to pair it exquisitely. Make sure you let them know as soon as you get on board because this space will fill up. If you're having a birthday celebration, an anniversary, or just a gathering with friends, it's a wonderful option. Set just between Polo Grill and Toscana, you're gonna find Privé. 
This is where you can have an exquisite wine paired meal, whether you want the Dom Perignon experience or you want a delicious chef crafted wine paired option. This is an exclusive and delicious option. Now keep in mind that this will sell out very quick because of course, with all the amazing food options, this really is the creme de la creme here on board. You've got the beautiful aft views and of course the exquisite setting here. If you're looking for an intimate, delicious wine paired tasting meal, make sure you book Privé. Baristas is your favorite coffee shop absolutely elevated. I love that they've added in a bakery now. As soon as you walk in the door, you get those incredible intoxicating smells of all the baked goods for breakfast. They're gonna have croissants, different styles of tarts, and absolutely delicious rolls. I've had quite a few options here myself, I gotta say. And then throughout the day, they'll add savory treats in there as well. Now you've got quite a bit of seating here. You've got the booths tucked around the side. You also have tables for two, and it does extend outside as well. Now, as we continue along, you're gonna find a bar where you have light bites. Once again, for breakfast, they'll have some light bites along here, like a continental style breakfast. Later on throughout the day, they'll add little bites that you can grab, some things that go very well along with the full bar service, and of course, the coffee shop. Now, it's a true Italian style coffee shop. The very first time I came to Italy, which is about 40 times ago, I fell in love with Ely Coffee. I drink it all the time at home and I love that I can get that here. Another included option, and as I mentioned, they do have the full bar set up as well. Maybe you wanna put a little something in the coffee or have a cocktail on the seating area. Now, as we continue along, you can see they have high quality coffee makers and of course, the top quality baristas. You're sure to have a delicious cup of joe. Now, what goes along with a coffee shop more than books? Let's head around the corner and check out the library. Now, those of you who know me know I've spent an enormous amount of time on cruise ships, over 900 days at sea, and I've read a lot of books. I love to dig into a real book. So much of our world is digital now, and I really appreciate that they've not only expanded the library, but they've really doubled down. You have a massive curated collection of fiction and nonfiction books. You can find a new book, a new favorite author, sit here and relax, or of course, gather with friends, and they have a wide variety of games as well. This beautiful space, once again, is highly expanded. They've got a massive library here. You can dig into a real book, sit back, relax, and enjoy a day at sea. The beautiful Aquamar Spa is highly expanded here on board the beautiful Vista. You're gonna find all your favorite treatments, whether it's a massage, a facial, even the Medi Spa options, similar things like acupuncture. I always utilize that on board because of my back. You guys know what I'm talking about there. But as we head into the spa, we're gonna see the beautiful expanded Aquamar Terrace. It's unlike anything I've ever seen on a cruise ship, and I can't wait to show you. Go ahead and let's tour the spa. We just stepped inside the full service salon. You can get all of the salon style treatments that you get at home. And of course, with those longer cruises, it's a really wonderful option. Of course, you can get a revolutionary new hairstyle or just get done up to head out and enjoy this incredible vessel. You've got several hair stations here. They've got the hair wash stations just around the corner. You can get manicures and pedicures. I love that they're even big enough for my size 15 feet. Always learn to take care of my feet way back in boot camp and still do it to this day. Now tucked around the corner, you're gonna have the barber shop. It's a spot that I'll visit just about every single cruise. You can give a get, get a great shave, a massage, and of course, any of those different styles of facial treatments for men. Once again, this is that full service salon, whatever it is that you're looking for, you're sure to find it here. Make sure you reserve, especially for those sea days, those fill up first. You'll find a full variety of retail tied into their partnerships with Kerastis from Paris and Elemis. You can get some really high quality options at duty-free prices. Now, in addition to that, this is where you can do a beauty consultation. They've got the HD camera over in the corner. They can look deep into the skin. I gotta say, I'm a little bit scared of it for myself, but I'm gonna give it a try later in the cruise. Your spa journey will start here in the relaxation room. This is where you'll come sit, get yourself in that Zen mindset, so you're ready to have an amazing treatment. They'll give you a little bit of paperwork so you can fill that out to let your therapist know what you like and dislike so they can prepare the perfect experience for you. In here, you're gonna find different styles of teas. You also have infused waters just behind me as well. Once again, you'll start and then finish your treatment here, being fully relaxed and ready to really enjoy every part of the spa experience. Now on either side of the spa, you're gonna find the gents and ladies changing rooms. Each will have its own sauna. You actually have some views out to the Aquamar Spa Terrace. You're also gonna have a full steam room in here. And then just behind me, you'll find the experience shower. So you can utilize this as a little bit of a circuit. Once again, then you can head on out and enjoy the spa terrace if you're one of the concierge verandas or higher. Now, as we continue through the space, you've got a really nice changing area here. 
You've got that continuation of the beautiful marble countertops. They've got all the towels. And then right around the corner, you're actually gonna find a really nice changing space as well. They've got a little seat with a nice large backlit mirror, one on either side as well. They'll put out things like razors and other amenities that you can utilize here. Here you can see one of the solo treatment rooms. They've got all your favorite styles to choose from. You're gonna have different styles of massages. For me personally, I love the hot stone massage, but after a nice long flight to Europe, like we did now, I also really appreciate one of the bamboo massages, the Swedish tissue massages, or you can put it together with a wrap. They also have a wide variety of facials. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna find acupuncture here on board. I appreciate that as well. Somebody who's dealt with pain for a long time in my life. It's something I use at home for pain relief. I can do that here as well, or just relaxation. You can book multiple treatments where you can combine them together for a nice long spa day. You can also book a treatment with your partner. To me, there's nothing more romantic and relaxing. You can bond with your partner here as you both relax and dig into that true vacation spirit. Now a treatment that's really caught on is here utilizing the quartz bed. The idea is to ground yourself. You're gonna wrap all around in quartz. They also have a little bit of sound therapy. I don't know if you can hear that there. It's a really wonderful treatment to really kind of bring you down and have total relaxation. Now, in addition to this unique feature, they also have one of the water beds for different styles of hydrotherapy, lots of different options. You might wanna book one of those grand voyages so you can try them all. Now, one of the most incredible features on board this beautiful vessel is the Aquamar Spa Terrace. If you're staying in one of the concierge verandas or higher, you're gonna have access to this beautiful space throughout your time here on board. Now, those of you who love the spa, you're gonna really appreciate the compliment that this has in addition to the wonderful Aquamar Spa. Now, right here, you can see the sun loungers wrapped all the way around the front of the ship. They actually wrap around the side of the ship as well, and you can get some incredible views. Now this is actually a beautiful spot to be when you're cruising in the scenic parts of our world, whether in one of the day beds up front or one of those loungers that wrap all the way around. There's also some chairs with cocktail tables as well. And then stepping up is one of my favorite features. You've got the beautiful Thessalo therapy pool. You have the waterfall style features up there. I love that because I have some back issues. I can go up, work those knots out after an incredible day in port. Now it's quite expansive. In fact, it's more expansive than I can imagine on just about any other ship of this class. And you've got a ton of space, including the extra large jacuzzi hot tubs in the front. Now, while there are quite a few similarities between the Riviera, Marina, and the Vista and her sister, the Allura, you're gonna see that this is one of the major differences here. It was such a hit on the other ships that they doubled or maybe tripled down on it. You have an enormous amount of space. They also have that beautiful spa music out here. It's really truly a relaxation zone. Now tucked on either side, you're gonna have the hot stone loungers. I really appreciate that with the back issues. You can sit, relax, they're nice and heated with that ergonomic design. And then you're also gonna have showers on either side with the large rainfall shower heads. And of course the upgraded bath amenities. Now I'm sure you can see why we appreciate this particular space so much. Actually staying in one of the categories that includes this right now, we've used it quite a bit throughout the cruise and I'll be back time and time again to relax and enjoy what I love so much about vacation. You'll find the fitness center is fully comprehensive and very similar to what you'd find at home. Now all along the windows, you're gonna have a wide variety of different styles of cardio machines. You've got the treadmills, ellipticals. You also have a stair stepper and then tucked on the far side, you're gonna find a rowing machine. Over here, you'll have all the different styles of free weights with different kinds of benches. You've got them going quite a bit higher than weights I can actually lift, but I'm sure if you're strong like that, you'll really appreciate it. Now you've got circuit equipment that goes all the way around the side. You can work through it to do a full circuit workout. I love all the small touches. Of course, you've got the Vera water there that you can refill your water as you like. You're also gonna have a variety of Gatorades to choose from that are complimentary. You'll also have several different styles of bikes, also taking advantage of those beautiful ocean views. And then as we head further in, you're gonna find the zero gravity chairs here that you can utilize. You'll also have a leg press. And now we're gonna step into the aerobic studio. You'll see it's set up for spin class right now. Of course, you've got the instructor at the front with a large TV. They've got the speakers booming all around. A Little bit of competition and excitement really does help with that fitness regimen. Now you'll see they also have yoga mats. I love that they have the foam rollers. I use those constantly while I'm on board. They've got medicine balls, yoga blocks, pretty much everything that you could possibly need for a fully comprehensive workout. 
all the way forward, you're gonna find Horizons. Now, this is a favorite on all the Oceana vessels. It's where you can come up and get some incredible views, and of course, a delicious drink. Just relax during the day or in the evening. They're gonna set this up with a dance floor on the far side, the band going. It's perfect for pre or post dinner music. Now, in addition to that, this space is used for one of my favorite events on Oceana, and that's that classic high tea at 4 p.m. every single day. Growing up, my grandma was an absolute Anglophile. She loved high tea. We always participated, and I got to cruise a lot with my grandparents when I was a little guy, and we always went. There's just such wonderful nostalgia about going on a cruise ship. Of course, it's a wonderful place to connect with your family and create memories that last a lifetime. Now the space itself is rather large and there's quite a few different seating options. You've got seating wrapped all the way around the front. In fact, there's a couple booths up there. You're also gonna find tables for two and four, a perfect place to play some cards, gather together with friends. And then you'll also find all these sofas that line 180 degrees around the front of the ship. Once again, for some of the very best views on the ship, when you're cruising in the beautiful scenic parts of the world that this incredible ship visits, you're gonna to wanna to stop by Horizons. My wife also likes to stop by here and so there's beautiful light during the day once again, all the way into the night. It's a perfect venue for so many options. Just forward of Horizons, you'll find the smoking lounge. It's got quite a bit of space in here. If you want a great cigar, of course, you can also grab a cigarette as well. It's completely closed off with good ventilation. And of course, being attached to Horizons, you can always grab a delicious cognac or your favorite green can head on over. Continuing along with the enrichment, you have the Link Digital Center. So in here, you can take all kinds of different classes, whether it's self-learning or you wanna come when you're gonna have a lecture style learning opportunity. You'll see they have different styles of tablets all around here. Once again, you can grab the paperwork and you can start learning on travel photography. You can learn about photography for social media. There's lots of different options and that's just scratching the surface. Now tucked in the corner, you're also gonna find the internet desk. So if you have any questions about the included internet that you'll have, now of course your hard travel advisor can go through what that actually looks like, but they can help you get it connected, expand your offerings as well. Now it's really a three room conference center. Of course, with hard travel, we do a lot of groups with Oceana. You can utilize this space for different groups and conferences as well. So you've got booth style seating wrapped around the far side there. As you go around the corner, you're gonna have another classroom and you'll see that you have all the new modern audio and visual technical that you need for any of style of conference. So once again, if you're looking to bring a guest lecturer on board, if you want a bit of enrichment, maybe you wanna get the absolute most out of your photography before you head on out to a beautiful destination like we're in today in Italy, make sure that you stop by, Sign up for one of the classes or just grab and go ahead and get started. They've got all the instructions there. You've got lots of self-guided classes. And when you head back, you're gonna thrill everybody at home with everything you've learned. Now, I love food and every time I travel, I think the best way to learn about a culture is actually through dining and cooking. I think you can learn a lot about the different ingredients that they use and how they use them. And of course, cooking comes from the heart. The culinary center here on board is a perfect place to learn how to cook. You're gonna find that it's expanded from their previous ship, so you have more options here. Of course, it's high tech, and you're gonna find all of that up behind me. You've got the cameras up above, you're gonna have world-class chefs here on board teaching. We do a lot of groups, and of course, this is a spot that you can reserve for a group. You can learn with lectures, and it's all hands-on. So as you go around the ship, you're gonna have absolutely delicious meals. Here you can learn how to make your own. Now, as you continue on through the center, you're also gonna have an expanded venue. This is much larger than they've ever done before. In there, you can do different styles of lectures, tastings, you can learn how to plate different items. And of course, the wine tasting is always my favorite to complement the food tasting as well. So whether you wanna cook or you wanna learn about it, the culinary center here on board also ties into the land excursions. The chefs here will take you off to some of the best markets around the world. You may wanna make sure and book those because those do fill up very, very, very early on. Once again, the culinary center, place to learn to cook, and of course, you get to eat the food after. Now, one of the great things about Oceana is the ability to dig into the cultures you visit and to learn on board. Enrichment is a big part of the Oceana experience in addition to the food. And here in the artist loft, you can learn from some incredible artists from around the world. They're here to show you their artwork, to teach you, and of course, you're gonna learn about the different styles and mediums. It's gonna be different every single time you cruise. We've got Andre on right now. He's an incredible artist. He paints with glass, so it's usually on different styles of clear materials and glass, and you're gonna learn yourself as well. So you'll get one of these, a clear glass, and this is a work by one of the uh, passengers on board. You can see what that looks like. 
So you're gonna be able to do this in an hour. So you're gonna learn how to paint on different mediums. But more than that, you're gonna learn about different cultures and you're gonna learn about different art styles and techniques. Now, if you're one of the penthouse suites or higher, you're gonna have access to the executive lounge. It's a great social space, as you can see. It's also where you're gonna find the executive concierge that can handle all kinds of different reservations on the ship, off the ship, and they're gonna partner up with your butler to take incredible care of you. You'll see that you have a seating area here with a nice large lounge space. You've got several small seating areas here as well, table for four, tables for two on the side, and you also have a sofa with a large flat panel TV. You can watch news, watch your favorite channels, maybe even watch the big game in here. And then right around the corner, you're gonna have a selection of dining options. You've got a fridge with sodas you can choose from. You also have the espresso maker here. You've got a selection of teas and of course hot chocolate, which is my favorite. You'll also see tucked in the corner, you've got an area to grab light bites. They just have some small snacks here in the afternoon. Breakfast, they'll have a continental style breakfast. And later on throughout the day, they'll have appetizers. Once again, if you are in one of the penthouse suites, all the way up to the owner suite, you'll have key card access to this lounge. We're just inside the concierge lounge, and this is for all those guests who are in the concierge verandas. What you're gonna find is concierge service. They'll be here each and every single day to help with reservations, answer questions, and elevate your experience. But it's also a wonderful social area, and you can grab some light bites and coffee. As I step around the corner here, you're gonna find a small kitchen area. You've got sodas, waters that you can grab and go anytime you'd like. You'll also have light bites in the corner. It'll be different, so for breakfast, you can have a continental style breakfast, and they'll have appetizers and things like that for lunch and dinner. You have an espresso maker right in the middle. You can make an espresso anytime that you'd like. You also have a selection of teas, and my daughter and I absolutely love the hot chocolate. You see orange juice here as well. Once again, it's a great place to grab a light bite. It's also a great place to gather with friends. Now, as we head further through the lounge, you'll see more of that beautiful decor. You're gonna see that you have several seating areas, bench style seating in the corner. You'll have tables for two and four. You can play games in here. You can read the newspaper. They also have a large TV. You can gather together for the big game. With the Oceana Vista touring the world and sailing on some longer voyages, it's really a wonderful option that they have the laundrettes on board. Now keep in mind if you're in concierge or higher, you're gonna have some laundry amenities, but you can utilize this space at no additional cost. You've got an ironing board over in the corner. I love the beautiful decor. You're also gonna find a TV here where you can sit while you're doing your laundry. And then right around the corner, you're gonna find several washer and dryers. They do have complimentary laundry detergent. Now I usually bring my own personally, but you can utilize these throughout your cruise as needed. All the way in the aft of the ship, you'll find the grand dining room. Now I've mentioned many times that dining is such an important part of the Oceana experience, and here's where you'll have most of your meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day, they'll be served right here. Now keep in mind on port days and sea days, it might be slightly different, but you're gonna find an expansive menu and of course, exquisite service. I really like the layout of this space. It's a familiar layout to those of you who've seen the previous ships, but what you'll see is they've made it a lot more intimate with this beautiful structure with glass all the way around. Of course, upgraded the decor. You've got the marble floors in here. You've got tables for two and four by the windows. You've got larger tables right down the middle. And what I really appreciate is they'll use it for different functions. One of my favorites is Sunday brunch, but beyond that, you're also gonna have that perfect opportunity to try brand new things. Now, other cruise lines will talk just about the crew to passenger ratio, and of course, this ship has an incredible one. But here on board, there's actually one chef for every 10 passengers. And after speaking to quite a few of them, and of course, the top culinary team, this is a place where chefs love to come to learn. They're dealing with the best ingredients, dealing with a group of people that absolutely love their food, and because you're eating every single meal here on board generally, they have the opportunity to surprise and delight. Now, the Grand Dining Room is more than just a beautiful space. It's a place where you can gather with friends, create memories that last a lifetime, and you'll never leave with an empty stomach. As we head aft towards the Grand Dining Room, we'll walk through the Grand Lounge. Now you'll see more beautiful seating here. It's got some great intimate areas right by the windows. You've got the Founders Bar that'll provide service, you have delicious cocktail options, and once again, expansive and beautiful decor. Now I like the way that they've sectioned it off here. So you have several different styles of seating areas tucked far in the corner. You've got tables for two, once again, larger sofas and more expansive areas where you can gather together with friends. Now a brand new addition to the Oceana Vista is the Founders Bar. It's paying tribute to those who founded this wonderful cruise line. And what you're gonna find is this is where you'll see the master mixologist. 
They've really completely renovated and upgraded how they do drinks here on board. Of course, they've got the smoker over there. You can do whiskey tastings in here. They'll have lots of different options. Now, one thing that I really appreciate is since Oceana is all about enrichment, not only can you have delicious drinks here, but you can head up to the culinary center and you can take a mixology class so you can make it at home and impress your friends and family. If you enjoy a game of chance while you're traveling, make sure you stop by the casino. They're gonna have all of your favorite games. They've got a wide variety of slot machines. I love that they have some of the old school ones that you pull down on the handle. Of course, go to the multi games so you can play some Kino, different options like that. And then right in the middle, you're gonna find craps, roulette, blackjack, and three card poker. Lots of different options to choose from. It's right here in the middle of the ship. Make sure you stop by if you're interested. This incredibly beautiful space is Ember. Now it's a brand new concept for Oceana. It's classic Americana taken to another level. So you're gonna find some inspiration from Napa Valley, from the classic steakhouses of America, and much, much more. I love everything I've tried. It was something that I've actually been looking forward to for quite some time when I learned about the restaurant. I really appreciate the open kitchen concept as well. As soon as you step inside, you get the amazing smells coming out of the kitchen. Seems like the favorite right now is that incredible ribeye, but I love the lobster mac and cheese with a lobster on top. Now you see this beautiful modern decor. You've got the booths here with the leather decor. You're also gonna have tables for four, six, all the way up to larger tables they can accommodate groups. My favorite spot of traveling with my wife is of course the table for two by the window. Now you're gonna have an expansive menu once again. My high recommendation is you definitely wanna check out those Grand Voyages. You might get to dine here three, four, five times on one of those. Or of course, if you head up to the top suites, you're always gonna enjoy this incredible menu. This beautiful space will be familiar to those of you who love Oceana Cruises. It's Martini's Piano Bar. Now, right in the middle, you'll find a piano. Of course, they'll be tickling the ivories and entertaining you before dinner and after dinner. And on sea days, they also have it throughout the day as well. But what this really is, is a lounge to gather together with friends. Of course, if you love a delicious martini, they're absolutely exceptional at making them. I know I've had quite a few here on board this week. Now you've got quite a few different seating areas. It's really expanded out from previous editions of it. You'll find that you have lots of nice little intimate areas to sit. You've got couches on the far side. You've got tables for two and four. And then as we head towards the middle, you've got tables for four right here as well. And then as it wraps all the way around, you'll find the martini bar tucked all the way in the corner. Once again, these are exceptional mixologists, sure to make your favorite martini or any cocktail here, and it's a perfect place to gather together, listen to some great music before you head out and enjoy a delicious meal. Now today we're actually in Valletta, Malta for the christening ceremony of this incredible vessel. I wanted to take you over here to show you what the plaques look like. Every time a ship visits a new port for a very first time, there's generally a ceremony and a plaque exchange. And with a brand new ship, every single port's gonna be the very first time. Now, because the ship is being christened here in Valletta, Malta, they have some very, very special gifts from the city itself. And we're gonna have an amazing ceremony tonight with Harry Connick Jr. and Giada De Laurentiis, not only entertaining, but also breaking that champagne bottle and welcoming this beautiful vessel to the world. Forward on deck six, you'll find the Oceana Club Ambassador and the future cruise sales desk. Now, if you're a past passenger, you can come by here, connect with the ambassador on board. They'll go through all the different benefits and you can learn how you can optimize all of those. In addition to it, you can always book your next cruise ride on board. In fact, you can take advantage of some promotions that are only offered on board. We know that you're gonna have an incredible time and I definitely encourage you, if you find that perfect cruise for you, make sure you stop by, get those incredible discounts and when you get home, we'll take care of all the details from there. All the way forward, you'll find the Vista Theater. Now, Oceana has really invested in the entertainment here on board. They've upped their game, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it spread throughout the rest of the fleet. You're gonna find four full production shows. I got to see one last night. It was really exquisite. And what they've done with the design technology is actually four moving LED walls that they can use to enhance the overall production. Of course, they have all the props and things that you would imagine. But what I find is they've really gone all in and upped the game to what you'd normally find on a much larger cruise ship. Now, in addition to that, of course, the ship does longer cruises, so you're gonna find guest entertainers. You'll also find lectures in here to tie into all that wonderful enrichment. And the space is quite expansive. Now, it's stadium-style seating. You've got booths on the side up above. You're also gonna have seating wrapped all the way around here. But of course, right in the middle, you'll find the stage. They've got the large LED wall behind, and you'll find some really incredible entertainment on board. As you enter the Oceana Vista, this is your first view. You've got the beautiful grand atrium here. To me, it looks like a waterfall of glass coming down. And of course, the sweeping staircase all made of marble. 
Now, as you continue throughout the space, you're gonna find reception on one side. This is your purser's desk on board. They're gonna take care of everything to do with money. Now, I always recommend that you stop by during the cruise. First day and last day, it can get a little bit busier as people settle their bills or ask questions. On the other side, you're also gonna find destination services. Now that's the shore excursions desk here on board. Now it's really critical that you always book your shore excursions before you get on board. They can sell out. And with Oceana, they offer some of the most unique in the entire industry. They're tied into the culinary options, of course, all styles of enrichment. For me personally, there's nothing better than learning here on board, heading up to the culinary center, maybe heading out with one of the chefs to a beautiful market, and then bringing it all back together as you arrive back on board. Now these special edition tours do fill up first. Depending on which category you've booked, you're gonna have early access. And of course your hard travel advisor can guide you through all of that. Now as we head further into the space, on either side you're going to find concierge desks. You're also going to find a small sitting area here. Really the idea down here, it's kind of like that hotel lobby. Also your living room where you can stop by before you head out and enjoy the beautiful destination she visits. Now as we head aft past the lobby, you're going to find several different boutique options to choose from. Now the reason our guests like to shop on board a cruise ship is of course to take advantage of those duty free pricing. You've got a wide variety of cosmetics and perfumes. You've got high-end jewelry and watches, clothing options, sundries, and then different styles of tobacco and alcohol. You find that a lot of those products, with a lot of those products, you'll find that a big cost is, of course, the duty in there. So stop by if you're interested in stocking up or maybe spoiling your partner. You definitely don't want to miss out on Red Ginger. It's Pan-Asian inspired. You have inspirations from Thai, Korean, Japanese, and Malaysian food. You'll find a wide variety of spicy, sweet, and savory options. It's absolutely delicious. I love that I can have my sushi rolls here, my Tom Kha Gai soup, and so much more. In fact, once again, you have an expansive menu. You're definitely going to need to stop by a few times throughout the cruise to try it all. The decor in here is absolutely elegant. You'll see all the Asian inspiration, delicious food. You'll find that fusion cuisine where you can try something that absolutely everyone loves. And there is something for everyone on this menu. I'm sure you can see by now why our guests love Oceana and come back time and time again. This incredible vessel is truly an evolution in design and it's gonna offer everything that you're looking for on a wonderful vacation anywhere around the world. Whether it's the culinary options, the entertainment, of course, that top-notch service, and the comfort of exploring the world and enjoying every single moment, making new friends, and reconnecting with friends of old. When you're ready to book this incredible vessel or book any rumor suite with Oceana, Regent, or Norwegian Cruise Lines, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the space is inside and out and have an incredible relationship with the cruise lines, and we know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.